Hi, welcome to your midweek minutes for module two. And this week we're talking about equal employment opportunity laws. And uh, this is really an important uh, area for every manager, not just human resource managers, every manager to understand because uh, every manager has to manage personnel, you know, whether it is uh, selecting people uh, or training people or giving performance feedback or uh, whatever it is, uh, decisions uh, uh, with personnel in mind, um, it's not just human resources managers making those decisions. Um, human resource managers uh, help facilitate those decisions and they develop processes uh, which they execute throughout the organization, but it is oftentimes the managers executing those processes. And um, these equal employment opportunity laws obviously uh, were most influenced by uh, the Civil Rights Act uh, in the 1960s, but we've seen a, a continual evolution of these laws. Um, and, and so uh, we saw a major revision in, in 1991, and we saw uh, addition uh, in the Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh, we also see uh, constant changes at the state level, and so equal opportunity laws at, at the state level uh, may be more stringent than those at the federal level. And so it's really important that uh, human resource managers and to some degree all managers understand employment law and the fact that it is evolving and, and human resources managers need to be most in touch with those laws so that they can, can facilitate the compliance with those laws in the organization and, and also with the evolution of those laws. Um, and, and sometimes that can seem kind of dry and procedural, but it's important that we keep in mind that this is very uh, central to how an organization operates. Um, we, uh, and my other class right now I'm doing is on organizational behavior, and we're looking at this week how some of our prejudices are unconscious. We may not know about the prejudices that we have. And this can come through in rather extreme ways. Um, for instance, some of the uh, sh shootings we've seen by police officers lately uh, perhaps were, were uh, you know, caused by prejudices, maybe that they didn't even understand that they had. Maybe they did, but I think a lot of times they don't. And, and snap judgments um, that can be lethal when you're talking about someone with a gun in their hands. Um, but these kind of snap judgments have uh, much more uh, uh, effect every day through other kinds of judgments that we make, um, like who to call in for an interview, or how we evaluate someone's performance, or who we see in our, of our employees as a high potential employee. Um, these kinds of uh, decisions and judgments can also be influenced by snap judgments that, that may involve prejudices that people aren't even aware that they have. And, and that's why um, having uh, a structure and a system for, for making judgments is very important. Um, it's important that we understand what questions a person can and can't ask in an interview because some questions raise prejudices. It's important that you know, we shield uh, demographic information from people making hiring decisions um, so that they're not uh, you know, being biased in these decisions. And, and we know that this does have an effect. Um, there's a recent study, um, well, it's probably about 10 years ago now, so I'm aging myself. But what it looked at was it sent out manager, uh, it sent out resumes to managers uh, and asked them if they would consider uh, hiring a person. And the name, the, the names on the resumes differed, but everything else on the resume was exactly the same. 
okay? All the uh, education, all the job experience, uh, everything in the two different forms of uh, the resume was the same, except in one of the resumes they had a Eurocentric name. They had Emily uh, as the first name of the person. And in another, uh, the other resume that was exactly the same in every other way, they um, had the name Lakeisha, okay, that uh, an Afrocentric name. And, and so what this study revealed is, is that there was a significant and substantial difference in the number of calls made uh, in response to those two interviews. And there was a prejudice that, that favored that Eurocentric name. Um, and, and so to me, that study really highlights the necessity of continuing to have these equal employment opportunity laws. And so uh, I think they're still important for, for us uh, to uh, have organizations that function effectively. Okay, so enough of that. I'm expecting to be hearing from your groups soon to be scheduling a meeting with me. Uh, we'll be meeting on Blackboard Collaborate uh, hopefully next week. And so I can review your project plans. So please be active uh, in communicating with your best practice groups and finalizing that project plan and figuring out when, as a group, you can meet with me. Uh, I am uh, very flexible, but I have got a lot of different groups. Uh, and so the sooner you get on my schedule, the more likely it is that I'm going to have the, the first choice that you have for times to meet with me. Um, if you have questions, please reach out and contact me either by phone or by email or the course questions discussion guide, whichever works for you. Take care. Bye now.